Hi, my name's Alex Walford, and today I'd like to show you how you can write your own expression language functions in StreamSets Data Collector. My friend Pat created a great blog article for this, so I'm going to put this link in the notes. Be sure to look at that. I've created a basic Maven project using IntelliJ here, and I'm going to create a uh, public static void main uh, entry point, PSVM, and I'm going to use my own IP address, string IP address equals um, what is my IP address from Google. And the scenario here is we're going to get the host name from the address uh, to enrich um, data flowing through that contains IP addresses. So I'm going to have INET address uh, equals INET address dot, dot get by host, get by name, that'll do, uh, IP address. So it's underlined in red, so we have an unhandled exception error here, and so we need to, um, I'm going to surround with try catch to handle this, and I'm just going to put something where I can, I can uh, catch it, in this uh, try block here, put a breakpoint right here. I'm going to debug this, and let's see how we can get what methods are available. I, I really want the canonical uh, name for this IP address, so I'm going to hit the evaluate expression here. Go to my INET address, get canonical host name, and there it is. We want to create an expression language function that uses this method. I'm going to start off by adding a dependency to the POM, and this is for the Data Collector API. So I'm going to go to the POM here. POM is Project Object Model. It's where you put all your dependencies. I'm going to create a class that I'm going to call IP Enrich EL. The EL is for expression language. And in this class, we are going to have to uh, annotate this class uh, with the ELDEF, that's expression language definition. I think the easiest way to get started with something like this is to look at some existing code. So I downloaded the source code, um, which, it, which is in GitHub um, for StreamSets Data Collector. And I have an existing function right here. This is very, very simple. Uh, returns the file name from a path. And I'm going to copy and paste this and use this as the basis um, for our um, get canonical name function that we're about to write. So in this case, I, I have a prefix. Now I'm going to call the prefix IP, and the name is going to be get canonical name. And I'm going to say gets the canonical name, gets, sorry, by convention it's always returns returns canonical name from an IP address. Okay, and so now we want to take these what we've done here uh, and return the canonical name. So the parameter here is going to be the IP address IP address, and here's the function. It's going to go right in here. So we're going to say uh, return the, uh, we're going to pass the IP address first of all. Okay. And we have this unhandled exception, so I'm going to surround this with a try catch block. And um, we are going to return the canonical name for this IP address. INET address dot get canonical name. And if it doesn't work for whatever reason, we're going to return null. I think it's helpful to be able to log errors, and so I'm going to create a uh, a logger here, and for the error, I'm going to say log.error and um, 
e.getMessage, error.getMessage. So this is going to log the errors. In order to make this available, the jar, that's the Java archive for this, needs to be copied into a, a location on the data collector, the libs common folder here. And so what I've done, I've written a small Ansible playbook to uh, rebuild the jars and copy this and restart data collector. These are the three things that need to happen. If you make a change to this and you want the change to be um, available, rebuild the jars. This deletes the existing path and recreates a new path with the same name and then copies the jars to that location and then restarts data collector. In order to run this, you'd go to the Ansible folder and say Ansible playbook redeploy and this is going to go through the steps that are defined in the Ansible playbook. Now the jars have been copied over to this host and the data collector has been restarted, this EL function should now be available. So let's go and build a quick pipeline with this. I'm going to start off with a raw data source and I'm going to give it a couple of IP addresses. These are JSON and they are an array of objects. The next thing I'm going to do is create a processor for these, an expression evaluator. And I'm going to take the IP address and use it in a function here. So this is very important. Look, if we say IP colon, you'll see that this function is now available and it gives uh, some help here. So I'm going to say IP colon get canonical name and then we're going to grab the IP address from this record. And we're going to assign it to a field called canonical name. Every pipeline needs a destination. In this case, we're going to use trash. And now we can preview this pipeline and see if it worked. So here are my two records, IP addresses, a local IP address and my external IP address for my house. And you can see that the canonical name has been added as a field to these records. So in this video, we showed you how to create a custom expression language function using Java and make that available to Streamsets Data Collector. I hope that was helpful and inspires you to create your own custom functions. Here are some community resources that are going to be helpful when you're creating your own stuff. We have ask.streamsets.com, that's a bit like Stack Overflow. We have a Slack channel, a Google group, and some great documentation online. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck.